Okay, so now we're going to dip into cubic functions. Um, don't be scared of this. It's nothing that you don't know how to do already. Uh, remember earlier I said to you, uh, your, your number one trick is to use the table of values, t.o.v. Okay? You can get anywhere like that. Cubic functions, what does that mean? First of all, that is a square. That is a cube. Okay, what does that mean? Well, we have an x-axis, we have a y-axis, and we have depth. That's called the z-axis. Okay, axis. So there's three dimensions. Side to side, up, down, and in deep. Okay, three dimensions. 3D. The volume of this cube will be x cubed. Makes sense then that the degree of this equation to have a cubic, sorry, not equation, the degree of a cubic function would also be a, a cube, uh, a cube, uh, a 3 above the x. Okay? Should, before I get any further, I should digress. There could be any number of um, coefficients in front of this number. Like this could be 5x x cubed, this could be 2x cubed, this could be minus 3x to the 1, and this could be uh, plus 5 times 1, which is really just 5. Okay? Some, some number. Okay. What you need to know is the cubic function means that there's a, a a uh, polynomial function to the degree of 3. Okay. Now, uh, graph it. It'll say, how do we graph this thing? There's our cubic function. Graph it. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. What do you do? Table of values. Okay. Here's our table. Same thing. Okay. Well, that means y equals negative 2 cubed less negative 8. Is it? Yeah. Um, y equals negative 1 cubed, that's negative 1. 0 cubed, 0 cubed is not 1, 0 cubed is 0. Because the exponent's not 0, right? 0 cubed is 0. Okay, so here's our y results. So there's negative 8, negative 1, 0, 1, uh, positive 8. All we did was a table of values. Simple as that. Stuff you learn in grade 8. Here's what it looks like. Plot our points. Minus 2, minus 8, somewhere down here. Minus 1, minus 1, somewhere there. 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 8, somewhere like that. It's just that easy. Connect the dots, just like you did in kindergarten. There you go. This here is what a cubic function will always look. Well, it'll 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 look like this or a variation of this, and you'll see what I'm talking about in the future videos with uh, transformations and stuff. But the idea is something like that. Okay. Hmm. What else? Oh yes. Forgot to do this last time. What's the domain of this? What can x be? Well, this continues on for infinity, forever. It's always getting a little further out. This is always getting a little further out. The domain of this, as I look at my answer, <laughs> it's x such that x is an element of the number set. Rational numbers. Okay? The range of this function, which is y is x cubed. Well, it's going to go up forever and down forever, so the range is the same thing. There's no restrictions. y such that y is an element of the rational number system. I might be getting that mixed up with a real number system, but it's kind of irrelevant right now. It's just that it's there's no restrictions on it. If I am, email me. Tell me I'm doing something wrong. I like that.